the back of the bulletin comes to life. Because <laughs> Richard Coleman is here. He is um, a missionary that we support. Uh, he's affiliated with TMS Global. He serves in Ethiopia. We see his uh, newsletters. They're out on the bulletin. We get his um, newsletters electronically that are sent out to you. And if you're not receiving those, please let us know so that you can be included in that. But a newsletter is not as good as in the flesh. So today we welcome Richard. Thank you for coming to be with us. We wish your family were here, but we hear they're coming later this year. So please come and share with us. And then we're going to have a short prayer for him together after he shares. So Richard, Uh, this guy's name is Mulukan. 
Uh, and he and his wife uh, next to him, they miscarried uh, with twins. Uh, they're faithful Ibasu servants in a city called Arba Minch. And I, I, I like to bring my kids with me on trips. So this time it was Salish's turn. And we just offered pastoral care to them, just to encourage them and to sit with them. And, uh, and of course, Salish just being cute the way she is, she was able to be an encouragement to them. So we do pastoral care, and in the last slide, uh, or second to last, I also do a lot of training. Um, I think that many Christians have, they don't have an ability to contextualize the truth. So they come across as being irrelevant, uh, as being uh, judgmental, all those kinds of things. And so I like to help believers to know how to communicate their faith in culturally appropriate ways. So I teach classes on cross-cultural communication, uh, anthropology, contextualization, those kinds of things. Here's me wearing a really cool skirt. It was not a skirt. It's uh, something that the people up in the far region wear. And just a brief snippet, it's like the preacher preaching the gospel to this guy from the, the um, uh, one of the tribes in the south. And you see the filters in front of both of them. So when we preach, we're unaware of our cultural filters that cause us to uh, be misunderstood, and we're also uh, unaware of the filters that the hearers have that cause them to misperceive the message. So if I were to tell you that I married my sister in Christ, and you say, oh, Christians practice incest, <laughs> that's not the message I was communicating. Um, and so I teach believers how to do that, because my job is not to be the hero of the story, it's to let Jesus be the hero of working through local Ethiopian believers. And the final slide is my family, um, as, long, as well as my co-worker, Tawadaj. Uh, my wife is Amanda, and then followed by her is Sanaya, who is 12. Uh, Rush is standing next to me with the blue uh, sweatshirt. He is, uh, how old is he, 10? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not just even the 43-year-olds. Uh, Ethan with the dinosaur shirt is eight. Salish is uh, almost six, and then the baby, Amara, is almost two. So uh, on behalf of our family, we just want to thank you all. Um, we are trying to be faithful in our context. Uh, I, I hate this concept of us being on the front lines. I think it's a lie from the pit of hell, if I want to be dramatic. Uh, there is no, the front lines is wherever the you know, kingdom of God is advancing. If it's at your job, you're on the front lines. If it's in your family, you're on the front lines. The only difference between you and me is location and context. So while we appreciate your affluence,